rainy week. It's getting colder as well. I was just working on the battery box to do some last things. But um, it's getting wet, so I'm gonna work inside. I kind of like this weather, it's nice, you know. But it is getting colder, about 8 degrees Celsius now. And uh, start working on the, on the stove and the stairs. Thank you. 
So today it's time for uh, the back wall of the stove. Um, mortar and brick. I learned a few things yesterday, it didn't go very smooth. The refractory brick, fire brick as it's called, that I'm using is turns out to be very porous and it soaked up all of the water from the mortar um, and then you lose the flexibility of the mortar to tap things in place so uh, and also when it cures it becomes brittle so it really didn't work at all so I uh, soaked them in water and they were really like sponges you hear them bubbling so much water that they take in and after that it worked much better so the consistency of the cement stays more wet for a while which gives you the flexibility to add things in place and move it around a little bit and I needed that because that little door needed to go in between rocks and that needed to be tight so um, the second time worked out well I made a drawing yesterday of how the stove is gonna look uh, I think that explains it better So here it is, stoves here in the middle, wood storage next to it under the stairs. Um, this is the clean out door that I built yesterday. This is an air intake. There's another clean out door going to be here on the side, so that's why I put a shelf there. Some things to hang up like a scoop, like cleaning material and perhaps some metering that would be interesting to know how hot the stove gets but i'm not sure if i can build it in there uh, the top stays open for a while because from here i want to slide in that water tank that i still have to make but that's an option that goes on the back probably front is going to be all uh, natural stone so the same as the walls stairs are going straight down here and that makes a turn right here that's the complicated bit um, yeah quite a big job I'll see how long it's gonna take
Looks like some sun is coming through. It's been very dark for five days now and the batteries are at um, well below 20% just a little because it's just barely any charge in the solar panels for a few days. So I'm gonna have to run the generator. I think I still have battery power there so if we ha I have sun today I might be able to use these batteries and then I don't have to use the generator. Um, the temperature is really good. It's about 12 degrees Celsius warmer than um, outside. Without the heating pads, I've got them installed, but uh, they're not on yet. So I think their uh, insulation works really well. And I only need the heating pads when it's really cold in winter, like minus 10 or 15. So that's nice. Turns out that good insulation works because the inverters and the batteries they generate uh, generate heat so that's what heats it up I can measure that by this little thing I forgot what to brand this Ruvi W um, it's just a little Bluetooth temperature meter and this you can connect with Victron that's the nice thing of Victron they have this very customizable um, how do you call it dashboard uh, work environment so you can connect a lot of things to it you can measure it so with Bluetooth I can no it's actually connected to the internet so the whole Victron system is connected with Wi-Fi so I can check everything the battery status and also the temperature um, online I don't have to be here for that, so that's great. Not a good plan to paint outside. I think the wood is very beautiful. It turned out really well. Um, so Jeppo made this from the old floorboards that were in this cabin 
which are 50 years old, 100 years old, you don't know. Um, but the beauty of it, when you plane it, is that you get this big difference between summer and winter. I never know which, I think the dark part is winter. Um, which is softer and less strong wood. And um, it, it deteriorates earlier than the other colors, so you get beautiful depth in there. And still when I paint it, you still see it when the light falls it differently. You see it's just old wood. It's really beautiful. And with new wood, you have the, ta the color difference, but you don't have the texture. Because it's just all smooth. So, very happy with this.
nice. Almost a week without sun. Really beautiful. Um, stove's going well. It's going to look very nice. Uh, and the build is going well. Slow but steady. I have to pick up some bits like pieces of steel to connect the dampers because they're too short. And um, get more bricks. Find some steps. I have to see how I do the steps. Ideally they're just one piece of stone because that makes it just most comfortable to walk on and um, see if I can find something second hand perhaps or salvaged yeah Jep was coming tomorrow so windows just painted the last one and Jep was coming to put the glass in seal it up and put them in the house so that's uh, 